Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin and today I will be doing a reading for those of you with Sagittarius placements in your chart. So if you have Sagittarius anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate with you. If you are dealing with a Sagittarius, this reading could definitely resonate with you. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olo Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu, Obatala, to the Egum Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florine Williams, Norman Williams, Exia Swilly, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for those with Sagittarius placements in their chart. All right, guys. Hey, how are you doing? Hope your day is going well or went well because it's the evening time now. Um, I have a reading for you. I'm using the um, Hoodoo Tarot. Okay. Um, this is a five card spread, including the top and bottom of the deck. So let's go ahead and get into it. Immediately, this, what I'm seeing, it's so crazy how spirit does. This is a piggyback off of the reading that I did for you guys either yesterday or it was two days ago, whichever one. It's probably a day ago. Um, about these haters, about these haters, about, um, it's, I'm, listen, I'm picking up a couple things. Haters, things about image, um, constantly you uh, working and persevering. You guys are coming up on better times. You guys are working towards um, some serious wealth, like a, a breakthrough is coming. Don't stop working. Please don't stop working because <laughs> seven of coins. And this is a different deck, guys. This is seven of coins. This is your last card in the spread, in this five card spread. Um, and then again with the haters, uh, I think when I was doing your tarot last time, you got the five of wands. This is the, the card at the top of the deck. Got the five of wands, and then you have, this card is scary as hell, um, Bishop C.H. Mason, card five. This is supposed to be representative of the Hierophant. I don't know, you might want to sage your phone after seeing this card, but um, it's representative of the Hierophant, but that's card five. So at the top is five, at the bottom is five. Angel number 55, okay? So with angel number 55, just want to tell you what that is, since that's the second time uh, that's come out uh, here on YouTube. I know that number was on um, Patreon as well. It says, uh, don't fear change, okay? Don't be alarmed if the changes uh, you feel are unpleasant at first. Whatever change that is uh, that's about to happen to you will not be for, um, what does it say? Oh, no, 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 no. Will be for the best. I said will not be for the best. Whatever change is happening to you will be for the best. So don't fear if it's unpleasant at first. Um, it says the change may disrupt your life, but it will not destroy it. Let go of a situation or behavioral patterns that no longer serve you. Uh, do not be complacent with your monetary. Oh, excuse me. Do not be complacent with momentary happiness. Think long term. Okay. Do not be complacent with momentary happiness. Think long term. And we're going to come back to these um, these descriptions for the number 55. But first, let's get into the spread. Because, man, the thing that I'm feeling, this is either, I think it's both. It's you and whoever is around you sharing an energy that has to go. Because you guys are changing and honestly, whoever these people are or this person is, they really want to do you in. Um, I feel, look, first of all, you can see the envy. You can see the envy. And then you can see the gossip. All right? That's one energy going on. And then before I remember, I was telling you guys, um, because the Hierophant was in the last reading that I did, I said, they want you to be a little bit more traditional. They want you to um, be a little bit more disciplined. See, so here it is. That's what the bishop is saying. That's what uh, Bishop Mason is saying. But um, you're set, here are your other cards, so I can explain this right. You got the big house, which is representative of the tower. You have the mother of coins. Okay. You have the nine of coins, and it came in reverse. I just want you to see it in the upright. Nine of coins, how comfortable she is. 
Um, she has her coins right there. She doesn't look like she's worried about anything. But it came in the reverse. You have the mother of knives. But this also came in the reverse. Okay. And then your last card out was the seven of coins in the upright. Now, if we want to talk positively first, if you guys keep this energy up, your two upright cards are, uh, well, actually your three upright cards, but we'll go positive first. Keep working hard. What you are working on is growing, is coming, because you're going to gain this uh, mother of coins, queen of pentacles status. You see how comfortable she is? She's doing a lot of self-care, investing a lot in herself. Look, and a little comfortable cat. Look at these animals. Also, you guys could um, either be uh, wanting to have an animal or you have an affinity for animals. You're good with animals. Something about nature is here. But there is abundance. There is abundance. You guys are very connected, okay? But your other upright card is the big house. Now, this person has a monocle, but it's, it's rose colored. This is like, you know, look viewing through a rose colored glass. And the big house is a plantation. Now, we know plantations, from appearance, they look beautiful. You know, these are these big mansions, homes in the South. But what used to go on, you know, on a plantation? Slavery. Something actually uh, hideous and ugly. And see, what this person doesn't see from their point of view is how everything else is, is, is it's like a monstrosity going on inside of there. You know, the people are falling out just like the tower, but it's even like what goes on on the plantation, um, the hideousness of slavery. Right. But you, you're looking at this big, beautiful home. And that is something that I'm feeling with either a person or being careful about because I'm not trying to call you hideous. That's not at all what I'm saying. What I do feel like, though, is there is this hierophant plays dual roles. There is a hierophant who has this energy, who you might actually be viewing from a rose-colored tint, but this is really how this person is, okay? And your progress, seven of coins to the mother of coins, causes them to be envious, very, very envious. This person, when you get the nine of... um. Nine of coins in the reverse, just like the nine of pentacles in reverse, that's somebody who is very materialistic and very greedy. See, they may come off like they are uh, very nice, or um, nice isn't the word, actually, uh, an authority, you know, always have the right answers and different things like that. But no, what they do is really for greedy purposes, okay? Coming off like they care about people or whatever it is that they're doing and that's not really the case, okay? Um, when I saw the mother of knives, it reminded me of, uh, you know, it is the queen of swords. This would be the queen of swords in reverse. And that is like, use your wisdom about this person. Do not, um, don't fall for illusions. Don't fall for illusions. Use your wisdom about this person. Now, the other thing that, you know, I mentioned before in the last reading was about following rules, um, following the rules that God has placed on your heart, okay? Um, because what the bishop, the bishop could be talking about is about um, optics, okay? Optics, what does it look like, okay? And that is, how are you presenting yourself? Because a, a part of me wants to say that somebody jealous could try to, if you are around haters and you slip up, they're going to use your slip up against you. I'm not trying to scare you or uh, make you feel like you have to be perfect. That's what I'm trying to say. You don't have to be perfect, but you have to be wise. That's that's what I'm trying to say. There's not a, nothing about being perfect. It's about, because I remember I said something, everything in its right portion. Everything in its right proportion. And for me, that's translating in um, uh, if if it if it doesn't suit the situation, don't do it. Like, would you wear um, uh, would you wear dress pants to the beach? OK, no, you look inappropriate. Would you wear beach clothes to church? No, doesn't look right. OK, so if you're going to present yourself as something 
as um, whoever, you know, whether it be a spiritual leader, counselor, what, whatever, be mindful of your image because I feel like you do have a, someone with a false image around you, but they want to call you out on your image. They might try to get you to do things outside of what you feel to be right in order to make you look bad. And the thing is, is that I'm not faulting you for any kind of behaviors that you've done in the past. But you already know in this time and space in your life that it's time to let certain things go. That's what 55 is telling you about. And I, I like, trust me, I know what you're going through. Um, it's hard to drop habits and different things that, you know, you're used to doing. But when you guys are going through this transformation, um, when you're finding that, you know, gifts inside of you are opening up and different things like that, you got to be mindful of how other people view you because they're looking up to you and they are, um, they're, they're, you're leading by example is what I'm trying to say. And your whatever it is that you're doing is successful. And then there are other people who are like, no, who do, who do so-and-so think they are? I remember when so-and-so used to do this, that, and the third, you know, I, who you, you not no different from what, you know, what you used to be. I'm going to show you, you know, I'm going to get you around and do stuff that I know you normally like to do. And, you know, this person plans on doing something bad, you know, with whatever information they have or however they're trying to set you up. OK, whoever this is. And it could be someone just go with me here. It could be someone already who is pretending like they're all good. But you already know from dealing with them. This person ain't ain't about nothing. They're not about nothing. And then they might feel like you're going to take their spot. And they thinking you're not about nothing. But see, you have greater wisdom. You know uh, what it takes to be in the position that that person is already in. And you're willing to do it. But you have to be willing to let go of some stuff from the past. Trust me. Like, just recently. I'm going to give you an example. I had a friend. Um, we were chopping it up over here talking. He has his own like clothing line and everything, and it's uh, it's on Instagram and everything. And he wants to expand it. And he was talking about doing. Um, I won't I won't say it because I guess you know I don't want to spoil anything, but I won't say the brand or anything like that unless you know I'll shout it out because I'm gonna buy it. Okay, I'm gonna tell the story. I'm gonna buy it. But um, he wants to uh, do the those long socks that go up the thigh and um, jock straps. And he said, you know, I want you to model it. And I told him, I was like, if you had asked me this two years ago, easily, I would have done it for you. OK, but now that I'm on the path that I'm that I'm on and doing what I'm doing, I can't. I was like, I can't. I can't, you know, sit up here and read for people and talk about expanding our consciousness and different things like that. And then turn around and let you see me uh, with my booty tooted up. And uh, what is it? A jock strap, okay? It's not that, and the thing is, is that I'm not, what I'm saying right now is not a judgment. It's, does it look right? No. I'm not saying I don't wear jock straps. I do, okay? But I'm not about to um, post myself with that on doing what I'm doing. That's for me. And when I get a man, you know, I'll take those pictures for, you know, whoever my guy is, give it to him right now. But I'm, but the who I was before would have been okay with that, you know? And sometimes, even when he asked me, I wanted to do it. And there was a little wrestling of it, of, you know, is it right? And that's where you being okay with your shadow side, you know, and understanding what's right and what's wrong and, and having choice, okay? And, and I'm not talking about good and bad. It's just wrong for the situation, wrong for who I am right now. You know, anybody else that he could get to do what he needs done, I have no judgment on, on that. I hope they kill it. You know, I hope it's successful. I hope he sell out on his jocks and his socks and all of that. I just won't be able to take part in it, you know, because the thing is, is that I'm, I'm trying to help you move further along in, in your consciousness as well as my own. And if I were to do that, that would bring me all the way back down to my root chakra. So we starting all the way from the very beginning, all over again, okay? And that's not what I am what I want. That's not what I want for me or for you or anything like that. And the thing is, is it's not about 
judgment. And I'm going to say this over and over again. I judge no one. But what I will tell you is if you ever get a reading with me or me reading you here, we live in the um, universe of cause and effect. So whatever we choose to do, we have to deal with the consequences of that. Like, what is that going to do for whatever this is going on in your energy? What is it going to do for your image? OK, what is it going to do for whatever you're trying to build? How could that thing it could tear something down, you know, and then you might have to work a little bit harder to build it back up. You, you could lose it all or you're going to have to work hard to build it back up. So be mindful of what you do. Because you don't want people to, to try to call you some sort of fraud or hypocrite. Because I'm going to tell you right now, what, in my past, did I hoe out? I sure did. Does Justin have a freak side? Yes, I do. But it's not. that's not what I'm promoting. That's not my brand. That's not really what I, where I want to be. And here, this is the other thing. It's about understanding yourself too, okay? Like here, I'll say from an astrological standpoint... Being a Pisces, and I just found out I'm a, I'm a Taurus rising, right? So there's a lot of uh, sensuality, earthy, uh, materialistic, but f uh, fantasy, um, lovey-dovey feelings that I have all wrapped up in here, right? And I'm not saying that I'm not going to express those feelings, but I'm not going to express it for everybody, you know, just to, for everybody to see, okay? My past is my past. All right, I'll just say that. My past is my past. Anything I've done in my past, I can vouch for it. I hold out. I, that's what I was doing. But right now, I can't do that. I can't do that. Things have changed and they've switched and they literally have. And I, I mean, that's what the whole progression was anyway. When I went through that, the my last relationship, as good or bad, because it ended bad, as it was, it changed me. It changed my whole trajectory. Um, especially spiritually, a lot of things start changing for me. Tarot came into my life. My dreams started increasing. Um, and I got a lot of messages from my dreams. I'm, I started connecting the animals more, um, the crows and different things like that. And, um, if I were to keep the same behaviors that I had in the past, it wouldn't allow new energies to come in because I would be crowded with low level energies from sharing my body with random people, okay? Now I know why I can't do that. It's not about me judging people or myself back then for sharing my body up like that, which you just shouldn't do, you, uh, you shouldn't, okay? Because you don't wanna, you don't know, especially if you don't know somebody. And, and we live in an age and an era where with the apps, whether you be on Tinder, Grindr, whatever the heck you wanna be on, you could have sex with somebody not know their name guilty okay um you don't know them so you don't know the energies on them so now you've just you sort of you've done a dumb thing because you don't know what you're getting yourself involved in and i'm okay with saying that because i know i was dumb when i was doing what i was doing it was stupid this is this, this queen of this queen of swords mother of knives in reverse not using wisdom right now that I know that, I know like, oh, okay, I wasn't going to be able to do anything uh, spiritual in that energy, in that space anyway. And I wasn't, even when I was doing it back then, I wasn't getting the insights. I was, I've always been intuitive, but I wasn't getting the insights that I am now. And if I were to have the insight that I have now and do what I did in the past, I would be blocking it. I wouldn't be able to do my job properly. Okay? Okay? So... That's what I'm feeling for you guys. And I'm only using this example of myself is because this is the only thing I can relate to. If it's not sex for you, it could be shopping. It could be uh, low emotions, uh, you know, identifying with being a victim, anything. It could be anything, but it's something you have to drop in order to be the person you are meant to be. OK, um, I hope I got that across to you guys the best that I could. I mean, not literally. No. No shame in my past. I understand why I did certain things that I did, you know, and a lot of that, I'll tell you, uh, especially for those of you who might have said like, for what I'm saying, because I'm just calling it what it is, you know, hoeing out. Um, it was about love and also being able to do things for myself. I, I had gone through years of stagnancy and I explained to you guys what happened to me in the past when it came to work and different things like that. And even when it came to love, even the, la the last relationship didn't work and the one before that didn't work. 
And for me, when I'm looking out into my sea of prospects, nothing looked appeasing. So I'm like, okay, well then what's the next best thing? How do I feel good out here in, in a dating pool that looks so bleak? And if all my peers are having sex, you know, freely, openly, I guess I'll join them. And that's what I did. And I'm okay with saying that because I learned that that's not the way to go. It's not the way to go. It's not what you should do. You should not share your body with everybody. I'm sorry. And I'm in no judgment. I'm only learning from where my consciousness was then and where it is now and how I'm trying to continue it. Because please believe, do I get tempted? Yes. Do I want to give in sometimes? Yes. Do I? No. Have I? Yes. Have I checked myself? I sure have. Okay? And that's all you guys have to do. Give yourself grace. Because I'm like I just said, I'm not perfect. You know? I'm not perfect. I've made mistakes even while trying to be a better me. Okay? But I know when to just stop. And my guides, actually, when I do make those mistakes, they come in on me pretty heavy. And they come in loud. So now that they do that, I, it makes me a little bit more afraid to jump into certain things, which is a good thing because I know that they're looking out for me and they love me and they want me to grow. Even when I feel like things aren't happening around me, I know I'm being protected. I'm being protected and still guided, even though it, literally that, that this hermit mode, this patience that you guys are feeling, I'm, I'm right there with you. But don't give in. Don't give in. Don't let haters... Try to make a mockery of you. Don't let haters try to make a mockery of you. Um, sorry if I was long-winded with that. Um, I just have to give you guys something that could relate to the energy that I'm picking up. Uh, don't be involved with people who are false because they're trying to throw that energy onto you. Okay? They are. And then they want to say, and look at so-and-so. Look at what they do. But it, really, what they're trying to pin on you is them. This is their energy. And you guys don't need it. Don't rush to, to receive these uh, monetary blessings because they're blessings that are already coming to you anyway from your hard work. You don't have to speed it up by being with um, people who look like they got it together already. And they're not going down this difficult spiritual path that you could be going on, you know? Because I listen, like even that, like, oh, you know, um, Justin, where the jock strap? Where the socks? I could be like, cool, yeah, I'll wear the jock strap, I'll wear the socks. Make sure you um tag my Instagram on there. You know, every guy that see me like that, maybe they'll get more subscribers. It's not, no, 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 it's not the way to go. So if you are looking at doing something to boost you that you know, like, that's just not how I should do it, don't, don't do that, okay? That's what I have for you guys. Um, if you want to book a personal... Hey guys, sorry, battery just went out for a second. Um, so if you want to book a personal reading, the link to book is in the description box below. Um, if the reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Also, the current um, playlist for Patreon is also in the description box below. All right, guys.